everybody, it's Pete the Monkey Thifter, full time eBay reseller here in the UK. Um, I've just had to come over to um, drop something off for a cousin of mine, and uh, it's very near Leeds Bradford Airport. And uh, today is the Have a Car Boot sale, it starts at 10 o'clock, it's um, 20 to 10 now. So I'm going to shoot off there and um, I'll see if I can get a bit of filming and see what we get. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. So there's the airport, Leeds Bradford Airport. I think there's a plane taxiing, I'll just come in. Anyway, let's get the, uh, let's get to its uh, boot sale which is over there. This is the um, uh, action camera, it's an Akazo V50 and um, you press that button to switch on and the top button there, press it to start recording. I pressed it, but I pressed my finger on a bit longer and it just went into menu and I didn't realise that. And then uh, I have it strapped onto my rucksack, that's why I've been a bit dodgy in the previous things. I've just bought myself um, a chest mount and uh, I was buying something and I realised it had fallen off and it luckily it had run into the bag anyway, so uh, I've got to be a bit careful with that. So in future time I'll make sure that it's uh, recorded. Right, so let's see what we've got. Um, I'll tell you what, start off with this. this uh, it's a box. Uh, it's sort of Thompson tank. Um, all sorts of bits and bats. She said it was complete. I'll get it all out. She said it was complete. It was all working and everything else. And all, there's a lot of more bits and odd bits and bats in there. And it cost, cost a fiver. So I thought, I can't go wrong with that, surely. When I put it back, it's not complete. You can't set the traps up. However, these things, when you do run it across, the, it does. They do work. So I suppose I can sell these separately. Uh, that's the intention, anyway. Oh dear. Right, then. I've got... Oh, it's quite good. Boxed. Six trees. Uh, there's three picture frames in there. Um, and I paid £2 for the box unopened. Um, I'm looking to get about 15 for that. Next, I've got a barometer. Right? And uh, this was 150 But when I was... I've put it on already. It's on already online on eBay but when I was taking a photograph it slipped and unfortunately you can see that got a massive crack in the glass so even though it's got a crack I'm still gonna put it on um and I'm gonna have to start aim for around about 15 but because it's got a crack in it I'm going for 10 or 9 95 anyway <laughs> plonker uh these little um Table lighters. There's no guessing. I've got them on. Now you wanted two pound each. Will you do both of them for uh, three quid? He says, yeah, okay. So I've got them for three pound. And I'm hoping I'm going to get in the region of about 20. I'm going to push for that anyway and see what happens. Um, I don't know. Uh, the table says everything on it is 50p. So it's Nicky Clark and the heat rolls. Not that they'll be any good for me. But they're supposed to be good hair wood. So 50 pieces, I'm going for a tenner on them. Uh, it should be okay. Got this uh, clock. I'm not this wind up clock, um, alarm clock. It's got a bit of a crack in the. Uh, plastic there, a little bit wear, but um, 50p, uh, maybe about I'm gonna go, there was 6.95 on that. Let's see what we can get on that. Um, what else have I got? And oh, like this cheapest thing I bought. I bought something else. I think it was the guy with the not the guy with the clock I paid 50p for, and I also got this. Not quite nice. It's a there's Gran Canary at the bottom, it's a thermometer, hangs on the wall. Years ago, early back, so about 2003, 
a solder barometer with um, a wolves on it and uh, this one I first experimented with eBay and decided that you can't make a living out of it um, and I saw this and literally the person that bought it um, lived about a five minute walk from my house so I went and delivered it so that was 20p that and I'm leaving for about 6.95 or so on that not a bit ambitious but there we go got these two candlesticks brass unfortunately this one here is a bit, it's a bit wobbly so I'm going to see if I can solder it on or something that's not too bad uh, but she wanted £2 each will you do £2 for three she said I really want £2 each you know I think it were grandad's because the next lot I'll show you what grandad's so I said okay go on in I'll, I'll do uh, I'll, I'll do £4 so I'm looking for about 19 20 quid 19 on them again it might be ambitious I don't know I have sold some little ones recently I think they went for about £12 for bear plus postage so yeah so then with the candlesticks to these uh, grandads look at these old jigsaws at three really old these and I said to them I says obviously the question the question is are they complete she says I don't know do my grandads and so I mean, for the years they've been pretty well looked after so um, I assume that they should be okay. I mean the amount of uh, stuff in that. So yeah they were 50p each. I thought it was uh, quite good so I'm looking at some look. Um, that sovereign one, that biggish, that big one of 1200 uh, pieces, um, that went recently, so recently for uh, sixteen ninety nine. The middle one, uh, twelve ninety five, and that one we'll try for nine ninety five for that one. Cause the, cause they're really, they're really old. They're I'm terrible. Probably about fifty, forty or fifties then. Fifties definitely. Uh, big fifty p. Avengers memory game. Um, I thought I'd just take a punt on it. Uh, what was saying? Oh, maybe three ninety nine, four quid or something for them. Um. Then, oh, hang on. Top Trumps. I've never even heard of these. Phyllis and Ferb. Um, and I thought, I've never, I've never seen them before, so I just thought, oh, 50p, I'll have a punt. Going for around about, I'm going to go for 9.95, the free postage. Yeah, so that, that's what they, they've been going for. So that's not quite a good one to look out for. Uh, you see then. What have we got on here? Right, um, Divine Madness cassette. Uh, it's basically the greatest, it's all the singles on there. Um, 50p, I'm going to go for 7.95 free postage. Talking of tapes, of course I did the thing, what you do with videotapes. And this is Band on the Run, Paul McCartney and Wings. Really good album, Remedies coming out in 73. So you do the same thing with the, like you do with videotapes. Check for mould. One thing I didn't check. There's a little pressure pad there where the tape pushes against the tape head. And that's all gone. So that is unfortunately no good. Um, got a few of these. Um, I want. I've got like a load of Bob Builder DVDs, Postman Pat. So I'm going to stick them there because that's especially the Postman Pat one. That's a that's a Christmas edition. So I'll stick that with the uh, other ones. And so these are 50p each. Worth fun. There's not much value, but I might bundle all the kids DVDs uh, together and sell them as one lot. I've seen that done. Uh, somebody got a load. Of, got like forty quid for a load of them. So I might, I might punt that way. Uh, things. Um, this little. It's Polaroid. Uh, that personal organizer thing. Unfortunately, I take the battery out. But when you put, all the LED display, it's all gone. It's knackered. So that's that's for the bin as well. Um, 
I don't know what this was. I just thought, oh, it's Toy Story 4, it might be a jigsaw. And it's got like stickers in, but they've been new, so I don't know. It might have to just like cut out things there. And but most of them are all right. I just don't know. I don't think there's not much value in it anyway, so uh, that might go to my grandson. Here we go. Um, there was something else and I can't find it. Off the top of my head. But anyway, so that's, that's just a brief look at some of the things that I got from Leeds Bradford. Um, it was quite good actually for a Thursday. Um, Sunday's usually a lot better, but that was very, very good. It was about, uh, let's say, three quarters uh, the size as it was as a Sunday. So it was, it was good and the weather was good and everything else. Far better than the week before. So yeah, so that's um, that's a bit of an update of what I got at the uh, Leeds Bradford car boot on uh, Thursday. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Leave us a comment if you can. And don't forget, I want to see some thumbs up and uh, everything else. Until next time, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vid, hopefully soon. Bye.